Today on Living Local Carolina, I'm with Marvin the Hammock Man. How are you? I'm doing fine. Good. I've, I've been enjoying myself here in the shop with you, watching you make these beautiful hammocks. And so how did you get into this? What, what, what inspired you to start making hammocks? I walked up on somebody as they was doing it. And I asked them, can they teach me how to do that? She said, if I have patience, she would teach me. If I don't have no patience, keep walking. Wow. I had patience. She taught me. Then she took me on her job, and I got out of the military. And I worked for her job maybe for a year at the main company. Wow. Then I got hired from over there, over here, replaced a man who was doing it for 70 some years, Thomas Washington. I replaced him, and I've been able since. Woo, how long has it been? 31 years making hammocks, 30 years in this building. But two blues on each end, the white and the blue in the middle. Two fingers like I'm holding a pair of scissors. Okay. Now, I totally teach the adult way first. The ones in the front, you're gonna push to the back, but the ones in the back, you're gonna bring to the front and hold. I, I mess with a lot of teenagers and young folks if they play an instrument in school, piano, saxophone, or guitar. I can easily teach them this if they use any fingers. If you like any kind of arts and crafts and you got patience, I can easily teach you this. Now, the kitty style way, this is how I teach the seven year old, kitty style. You reach between the two in the front, the one in the back, you can bring and hold only in the opposite hand. You reach between, the only ones you're holding is the one that's coming from the back. Once the team, once they get it, Two rows in, I tell them, you make it, you take it. They don't sell us in no store, and I'm the only person who know how to make them. The last one, you bring it all the way through the middle. The first one on the end, you're going to take it to the opposite side.